So where did Kali Linux come from? And why was it made? And aren't there already other Linux distros used for digital forensics and penetration testing? Why did there need to be another? And why is this one named Kali? And what happened to Backtrack? Okay, okay. One at a time. Kali was created and is maintained by Offensive Security, a security testing and training service that maintains many free community projects, Kali Linux being one of them. Kali started its initial distribution back in 2006 as Backtrack Linux 1.0 and continued until Backtrack 5 release 3 debuted in August 2012. The maintainers of Backtrack decided that some major changes were needed for the release of Backtrack 6, which included the removal of Ubuntu Linux and many unnecessary tools from the Backtrack distro. These changes were so radical that it was decided that a rebranding of Backtrack Linux to the new name Kali Linux should be part of the change. Kali Linux version 1 is based on version 7 of the Debian GNU Linux distribution using Linux kernel version 3.2. Backtrack was based on the Ubuntu Linux distribution, which itself was based on Debian GNU Linux. So you see that Linux distros may all share the same common Linux distro ancestor and fork into different variant distributions as people see problems and decide that creating yet another Linux distro is the solution. And let me just say, with the improvements made in Kali, there is really no reason to go back and use Backtrack, which, by the way, is no longer supported by Offensive Security. Kali Linux is known as a security distribution of Linux. And yes, there are many other distros of Linux specifically designed for penetration testing or digital forensics or for use as a network security platform. Some security distros are commercial and cost money to license. Some of them are no longer maintained and are now quite old. Some were never well marketed or are based on a Linux distro that is not well known or for some other reason just never caught on. Check the website distrowatch.com to find most of the forensic Linux distros available and Google for the rest.